Okay, welcome, welcome to Zodi's Rails, everyone. Now, we're going to do another unboxing. We're going to jump straight into it. As you can see from this lovely logo here, we have a Backman Branch Line unboxing. We have ourselves a coach. Now, before we get started, I will just say this coach was bought on eBay. It's secondhand. It was marked as barely used. Uh, I believe I got this for around £20, which I don't think is too bad, uh, but well, I'm guessing we'll soon find out. I haven't actually opened it yet, so we'll see, but you can see it has got some light scuff marks on the box though. The description was it has just been stored um, for a little while, used a few times and stored, so I'm not too worried about these minor cosmetics marks. Anyway, we'll get straight into it. So as you can see, there you go, you've got your lovely coach right there what we got so we've got a br mark one composite corridor blue and gray so very nice indeed so just have a little look on the box i showed you the back just now but anyway there you go there you go a few more scuff marks on it that's not too much of a worry sorry about the little break there had to uh, just go and deal with something quickly but anyway there you go so we've seen the box now a few scuff marks authentically detailed model not suitable for children under 14 years because of the small parts. So there is your warning. So let's get this open. Let's put that back here. So first thing, we have a detail pack, which is actually open. Now, this was in the description, sent one of the uh, fake knuckle couplers was missing, which isn't too much of a big deal. I don't tend to really put those uh, those on anyway. But you've got a couple of... Um, well, these are couplings that uh, make it closer together. So you can actually put the carriages... The way that it works is... It, yeah, it just makes them seem a bit closer. So instead of using the conventional uh, couplers that just link together, these ones actually slot into the cu the coupling sockets. I think they're NEM coupling pockets. And it just means that the coaches look a lot closer when they're going around on a layout or just a simple circuit. But you have to have a, I think, you probably need about third radius curve so that they don't push into each other at the ends when going around the corner. So they're good if you've got a layout that's quite big. I'm uh, not sure if they work on the second or first radius. I probably doubt it, though. So what else do you get in this pack? So you got one of the uh, corridor, the actual connecting corridor covers, which has a little um, fake rear of train light on this. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. And let's see if we... Yes, yeah, so there's one of those fake little knuckle couplers just there. No, you can't really see it. It is just... Just in there. There you go. Anyway, we'll put this to the side. Let's get to the main carriage. Okay, so here we go. So it's got a fair bit of weight to it. There you go. And tell you what, I'll just put a light on this real quick so you can see it even better. There we go, so we've now got a light on there. So first off, we'll start with the roof. So are these separately fitted? It looks like they could be separately fitted, given that there is a gap between them and the actual carriage, these pipes, so that's pretty good. These are all uh, molded, fitted on here. And you've got some more of those pipes on this end as well, which I do believe are separate. You got the molded uh, handle windows again nice and clear which I like I don't like the ones that got like slightly frosted ones I prefer lovely clear ones so if you manage to get some uh, passengers to put in here it looks even better that's just my opinion as it is you got your little first class numbers on here emergency lighting point Quite a nice smooth paint work as well. So there you go, you've got C1. Now, unlike the Hornby one that I reviewed in the previous video, 
this one's actually got um this one doesn't actually have that little writing on the other like it does on the other carriage it's probably because they're complete they might be completely different times or because they're different railways but i would have thought this would have had some writing on it about the weight of the carriage and things like that i could be completely wrong this could be completely how it would look in real life um i'm not too sure but there you go that's one end now the question is are the buffers sprung no they're not uh -huh. okay so they're not sprung buffers that's a bit of a mark down there so you've got the i think the nem couplings again the narrower ones you go just the other side. No smoking signs, I believe they are, or would have been. See the seats in there as well, so that's a lovely bit of detail on the inside. There's the other end, same as the other one, other side. So the bogies, they always moulded detail like normal, or most of the time. Got the under framework. And the metal wheels as well, so it should be quite freewheeling. Looks it, we'll have a little test of that in a moment. So yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. What we'll do is get a little bit of track down here and we'll see how it rolls on its own. Okay, so here we are, we got it on a little bit of track here just see how free wheeling it is now as i did say in another video um i don't exactly have a layout um don't have a lot of money or room to be able to put uh, even a circle down quite often i know you have seen a little looper track in previous videos but i do have to uh, put that away every now and again due to the limited amount of room um i have available to do this so unfortunately every now and again it will be a bit like this although hopefully in the future Say if we get to a thousand subs, get some monetization going, maybe we'll be able to get ourselves a layout, do some proper, proper review and view with a newer stock. Um, I don't, I wasn't sure about doing a Patreon or anything because I can't, I don't really have a lot to offer. Uh, but maybe, maybe one day my dream would be able to get monetized and do proper videos for you guys. Anyway, enough about all that nonsense. I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. So. Let's just see how freewheeling it is for the moment. So here we go. It would be helpful if I actually put it on the track properly. So there we go, even with just a little push. You can see that is really, really nice and smooth. Now I'm sure if that was running around someone's layout, I look even better. So unfortunately, uh, it's a shame that I can't do it on the layout, but I'm just working with what I've got at the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting what I do. Um, now, of the week that this is being posted, I'm at 97 subscribers at the moment. So if we manage to get to 100 by the end of this week, I will be doing a small giveaway, probably be a double O gauge wagon. Only if we hit 100 subscribers by the end of this week, though. So that is an absolute goal right there. So please help me try and get to that if you can. Um, that'd be so, so appreciated. Uh, if you like the video, though, guys, please leave a comment down below. A like, maybe even a subscribe. It does really help me out. It truly does. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. And goodbye.